Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we have a Muslim Abdul here. His name is Luqman. Uh, Luqman, he is uh, he have a very high education. Uh, graduated from uh, University of Pakistan uh, with degree with camel urine and um, how to shave your anus. You know, like you know, when when we hear that Muslims they go to Islamic schools and they learn about Islam, you think that they are studying something serious. This is exactly what they learn about Islam. This is why when they speak, their topic or their talk is very stupid and very funny. If we Muslims are ignorant, how can we Muslims differentiate between the Creator and the creation? Can you? <laughs> we will go back to this topic. And here, and calling Greek women a dog, uh, went in to save her child. Isn't that a little bit racist you think do you think so well about what about you focus that he saved the child and your prophet could not even save his child and you idiot jesus was quoting what the jews say that why we are going to throw our jews to the dogs so he is telling her don't you know where i am coming from don't you know that i am from israel so you know, she said, yes, I acknowledge that. And the Jews don't do business with those people because simply they don't believe in the same God. So why are you asking the God of the Jews to help you? However, as long as you are talking about, uh, you know, about, about this amazing miracle, because Jesus, he, he did help this woman. Where is the help of your prophet when people ask him for help? Zero. The Quran confirmed that Muhammad have zero miracles. Same time, as long as you are talking, to, uh, calling people animals, Quran call all people animals, not only specific person. As an example, if we go here in the Quran, it says in chapter 25, verse number 44, hmm? Actually, there's a guy, his name is Dawa something. He made a video speaking about uh, the European, they are animals and they are worse than a cow because cow is a useful. You can watch the video. So the Quran confirmed that anyone is not a Muslim is an animal. Anyone. It doesn't matter who. And this is your Muslim translation. All right. Do you think they are they even listen or they understand? No, we are we don't. We don't listen and we don't understand. You know why? Because we are like cattle. Huh? Even they are worse than the cattle. So shut up, idiot. You are the follower of a racist person who believe in a racist called Islam. And anyone who don't believe in this fifth cult who believe in long penis and big ass and seventy years ejaculation is an animal where well, you are the animal because you believe in such a garbage who is the animal the one who believe if he kills somebody he will go to heaven and his god will make his penis endless or the one who believe that god is a noble god and he is not going to give us what pimp in las vegas will give now we go back to the topic he said here that we can differentiate between the creation and the creator Okay, I challenge you then to answer those, you know, very uh, s simple questions. Uh, you know, we mentioned a video before uh, posted by Unmasking the Fool uh, about a Muslim Abdul who do not know. He's 50 years old, yet he do not know that his God is not a spirit. Okay, so Allah is not a spirit. And the Muslims claim that they can differentiate between the creation and the creator. Very simple question. This is your Muslim you know, uh, Muhammad and Hadith. This is your prophet talking, not me. And you know, when your prophet talk, I mean, that's a lot of poo-poo. You know what, I'm, what, what I mean, right? Let us read together and laugh together. So, according to your prophet, that in the judgment day, people, they will recognize Allah by something very unique. And actually, you know, I never been in a strapteza club all my life. But look like Allah is going to do striptease. Do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? Recognize who? Your Lord. Hmm? The Lord of Islam, he will come to them first. And he will come in an image, in a shape other than the one which they know. 
And then they will say to him, oh, you are not our Lord. You are not our Lord. Do you see it? The Muslim Abdul, they will kick the ass of Allah and spit at him and throw tomato and potato uh, and empty uh, garbage cans and say to him, you are not our Lord. Why? Because he say, I am your Lord. And they will say, you are not our Lord. Why? Because he will come to them, the Almighty, which is all Allah <laughs> together, Aka Muhammad, come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. When you saw the shape of Allah first time, Abdul? Can you tell me? When, when, when? In the basketball game? Okay, as long as you Muslim, you saw the shape of Allah first time, when? When? I'm waiting for the answer. Now, as long as you can differentiate between the creation and the creator, you idiot. How come you could not differentiate between your God and your God? Isn't this your God? He just changed his shape. You did not differentiate between him. And who is the one saying that? Your prophet. Don't tell me he's a liar. He's a liar. Don't he? uh, he's lying. Huh? Uh, I, want you to say, I want you to pause there that your prophet, in this case, he was suffering from diarrhea and he was making a lot of liquid. He was not in his good mental health, as if he was ever. So how you differentiate between the creation and the creator? And you Muslims, you refuse that God can be inside his creation. Okay, here, here, hold, hold on, hold on. If we go in YouTube and we search for Allah hands, Allah have hands, Allah have feet, Allah have eyes, Allah have fingers, Allah have uh, uh, nails, uh, Allah, you know, may Allah give. <laughs> and by the way, look, people, they are copying what I say and making video, which is good. Uh, Allah, two right hands. Uh -huh, okay, Anthony Roger. Who's Anthony Roger? Yes. Well, oh, this is what people learn from me, which I'm happy to see. Now, Allah has hands. Allah has foot. Hmm? Allah have a shin. Okay. Allah have a foot. Right? The foot of Allah. Allah has a shin. You see? You can watch these videos, those Muslims, explain to you how beautiful the magnificent shin of Allah. I mean, it's obviously magnificent, right? So, uh, you know, we don't want to, uh, like, so is this the creation of Allah or it is created by somebody else? The foot of Allah. Was it created by Allah? If Allah is not, we cannot be inside his creation. Allah has a beautiful face. I'm so glad it's beautiful. Otherwise, we need to make a plastic surgery the same as he did to Muhammad, uh, you know, uh, a while ago, uh, you know, uh, to fix his breast. Do you, you remember? Yeah. Allah have face. Allah have hands. And don't tell me those are not physical hands. You can go and watch like this guy here in front of you. Huh? Go click at the video and watch and he will say to you, Allah has said he has hands. What I will say? Those are real hands. What I can say? Allah has hands. Who knows Allah better than Allah? Watch this video and laugh. So you Muslims, you can differentiate between God and creation and the creator. But your God, Allah, will come to you one day and you will not be able to differentiate between the shape number one and shape number two. Why? Is shape number one is you know better than shape number two or shape number one is worse than shape number two? Why when Allah come to you in a shape other than the one which you know you don't recognize him as long as you can recognize between the, the creator and the creation? And in this case, the shape which Allah he is taking other than the shape which you know. Is that a, his a creation or he borrowed from the bone store? Where did he get this shape from? So now Allah have two shape. Shape Allah, uh, Allah shape one, Allah shape two. And then after that, how we will recognize Allah to be the true Allah? Because now we have two shapes, both of them for Allah, but it might be not yet a proof that he is Allah. <laughs> Allah will show his shin. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love the Abdul, but too bad. The government, you know, the city, they are not allowing me to grow them in my yard. You know, they say that you can have a rabbit and chicken, but someone like Lukman is too much. Too much to have in a yard. You need a big yard, all right? And look, it's talking about racist, guys. Quran and Islam consider uh, uh, women 
are not equal to men in everything. Even Muhammad, he said that most of women, they will go to hell fire. And he asked them to pay uh, uh, extra money so he can save them from fire. Do you want to be saved? Huh? Okay, pay me. Pay me, I will save you. You are women. You are going to go to hell, all right? Yeah, So he, he said clearly that women, they have mental issue. And because of that, and because they have a period, they will go to hell. I mean, how stupid that is. You know? Naqisat, hold on. All right, you see? Allah, Prophet, is asking the women to pay more money. Otherwise, they are going to end in hellfire. <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to save you from hellfire? Okay, what is the solution for this? Uh, pay me money, pay alms, mm, uh, so we can bribe God. So we are, you know, those women supposedly are bad, and yet if they pay money to the prophet, uh, they will go to heaven. I mean, how, how stupid this is scam is. You curse frequently, I can show you Muhammad cursing frequently, Allah curses frequently, you Muslim men curse frequently. And what? And in spite of your lacking of wisdom, failing in religion, you are not depriving the visit of men of intelligent. Why? Why is that? The deficiency, they said, what is our deficiency in, in, uh, uh, in our wisdom, in our religion? He said, the lack of your wisdom, that, you know, you are the evident of that, you are not equal to the man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the court <laughs> Allah said so <laughs> two men equal sorry two men two women equal to one man this is the evidence of uh, 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 you know uh, lack of intelligence and wisdom this is how stupid Muhammad is and how he always put women down he hate them even he said women they come in the uh, uh, in the image of the devil, and they live in the image of the devil. But you know, but Muhammad yet still he want to have a lot of them in his house. I mean, he hate the devil, huh? But the, and the women they are in the image of the devil, and you know, like uh, she re, she re, she advance in in the uh, and retire in the shape of the devil. And when Muhammad, he see a woman, he get horny. So he go to his wife and he force her to open her legs. And he do park his private part there for a certain time until the devil. Uh, then he will remember, oh, this is the devil. But before, when the legs are open, excuse my language, Muhammad don't notice that this is the legs of the devil. And this is the vagina of the devil. So he want to have as many as he wish. And in the same time, he made verses in the Quran saying, any vagina of the devil, which means women, according to him, remember, he is the one saying women are devil. So any woman, she want to give her vagina to me so I can do shish kebab with it. You know, it's lawful for me, only privilege for the prophet. Have you ever heard of a prophet? His privilege is about vagina and money. That's amazing. And that vagina, we find that it's a vagina of the devil. Women are the devil, but yet he have, no one knows exact number, how many vagina Muhammad he have in his house. And excuse my language for saying vagina, because Muhammad, he did not marry those women, for he loved them. He is just seeking, abusing them, either for money, like what he did for Khadija, either for sex, as he did to Aisha, either for power, as he did with the, the, the daughter of, of uh, the the. Uh, the important ones, he married their daughters, he always using them. So he don't see in the front of him except a vagina, which will give me an enter into something. Either enter to the vagina by the, itself, like Aisha, or enter to the money world, like Khadija, or enter to the authority as other women, he used them, or enter into a woman because he, she was sexy and he liked her like the, 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 the wife of his own son from adoption. Don't forget, Muslims, who you can differentiate between creation and creator to leave your comment in the text. I like to see your answer. Is the shape of Allah, first one, created or it was the creator? If the first one was the, not the created, the second one, was it the created or it was the creator?
and is the hand of Allah created or not created? The, should, the, the shin of Allah created or not created? The foot of Allah, is it created or not created? The five fingers of Allah, the eyes, the face. Uh, by the way, Allah have all those things. Is he a gender of a male or female? Or maybe he is a transgender? Leave your comment. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam made by a stupid man for stupid men. And I am not one of them. I mean to that.